manifest in making whole palsied limbs and fainting soul, manifest in valiant fight, quelling all the devil's might, manifest in gracious will, ever bringing good from ill. Anthems be to thee addressed, God in man made manifest. For our daily prayer, we use the order of morning prayer found on page 235 in the Lutheran Service Book or page 024 in the middle section of Treasury of Daily Prayer. Let us pray. Today's New Testament reading is the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the fifth chapter. They came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gerasenes. And when Jesus had stepped out of the boat, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. He lived among the tombs, and no one could bind him any more, not even with a chain, for he had often been bound with shackles and chains, but he wrenched the chains apart, and he broke the shackles in pieces. No one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always crying out and cutting himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus from afar, he ran and fell down before him. And crying out with a loud voice, he said, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. 
for he was saying to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. And Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now a great herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside, and they begged him, saying, Send us to the pigs, let us enter them. So he gave them permission. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the pigs, and the herd, numbering about two thousand, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the sea. The herdsmen fled and told it in the city and in the country, and people came to see what it was that had happened. And they came to Jesus and saw the demon-possessed man, the one who had had the legion, sitting there, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And those who had seen it described to them what had happened to the demon-possessed man and to the pigs. And they began to beg Jesus to depart from their region. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed with demons begged him that he might be with him. And he did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends, and tell them how much the Lord has done for you, and how he has had mercy on you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him, and everyone marveled. This is the word of the Lord. For today's meditation on God's word, we welcome Pastor Mark Werner. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. What an incredible story that we have in this gospel text from Mark, the fifth chapter. It's a story that tells us that Jesus has power and mercy to free people from the evil one. And and not just this man with an unclean spirit, but also to free you and to free me and show mercy to us. It is a scene of power. This man that Jesus encounters is under great power from an unclean spirit. And as a result of this demon, this man has been a terror to the whole town, to the point where they've tried to bind him with chains and shackles. But the power of that unclean spirit has broken those chains and shackles. And the power of that demon is so strong tormenting that man. It says that day and night, to the point that he cries out for relief. Satan has power, and he's using it against this man. And Satan has power, and he uses it against you and against me. At first glance, we may be thinking, well, I'm not like this man with this unclean spirit. But it doesn't take too long of a look into our own life to see that we too are shackled with sin, that we are tormented by sins of thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone as we confess in the divine service. See, sin is evident in our lives too. And there's great power here, not only in the sight of the evil, but great power that we see in Jesus Christ. He has the power over that evil. He's delivering that man from that unclean spirit and casting those demons into the pigs so that they plunge to their death into the sea. The power of the word of God. That same God who spoke into existence creation is now commanding evil to flee from this tormented man. The power of Jesus' word restores this man to health, and he's now freed from that unclean spirit. See, this is also a scene of great mercy. This man has been crying out day and night as he was under the control of that unclean spirit. And Jesus, he's aware of this man's suffering. He has compassion on him. No one comes pleading for this man. But Jesus sees his need and delivers him from evil. What mercy Jesus shows him. In the Lord's Prayer, we pray, deliver us from evil. See, we too seek the mercy from God. And God had mercy on this man. God has mercy on you. And God had mercy on me. 
When Jesus broke the power of sin and death and the chains and shackles of sin that were binding us, when Jesus gave his life on the cross, he broke those chains and released us from sin. In John chapter 8, it says, If the Son has made you free, you are free indeed. Yes, the power of the cross broke the hold that sin had on our lives. The same mercy that Jesus had for this man living with an unclean spirit is the same mercy that he has for you. The same power that said, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit, is the same power of God's word, alive and active in your life. The newly healed man wanted to go and depart and be with Jesus. But Jesus gave him the command to go and tell what the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. See, the same is also true for us. Jesus has had that power over sin, death, and the devil, and he has done great things for us. And in his mercy on the cross, we receive forgiveness of sins. He has broken the hold of sin in our lives. And now with those same words, he tells us, Go and tell how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Son of the Most High God, you freed many from their bondage to demons, demonstrating your power over the evil one. Show us your mercy when we are overcome by the darkness of sin, death, and the devil, and protect us by your mighty word that does what it says. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the For joining us for morning prayer. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you.